is Out of Destiny, and in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you all a few of my favorite hairstyles using clip-in hair extensions. Um, I do have relaxed hair. I actually just finished filming my relaxed update, but that's beside the point. Definitely comment down below and let me know which hairstyle was your favorite at the end of this video. So I'm going to be using my Betterland clip-ins to complete this look. I'll discuss everything about the clip-ins after I show the hairstyles. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to show you all is how to quickly create a ponytail using clip-ins. I was put my own hair into a ponytail, high or low more or less this is what you'll get like just really quick i'll do it let me let me let me just do it i'm keeping my feather right there and for the sake of the video i'm going to try to be as detailed as i can with applying these because i tend to just throw them in my hair and keep it pushing so take one of the two clip clip in or ponytail you decide where you really wanted it and you can do one of two things if you don't want to flip it up like putting it in the opposite direction then just make sure you clip it up high enough to where you don't have to do this so this is a two clip so for ponytail looks, you definitely want to kind of part further up. That way you can actually pull the hair into a ponytail depending on where you want to position it. And instead of using like the four clip clip-ins or the three clip clip-ins, I take four of the two clip clip-ins and I apply those majority towards the center portions of my hair. That way I don't have too much bulk on the outsides for a sleek ponytail look. I'm going to proceed now to brush my hair and pick the side where you want your part and everything at kind of start brushing this into place. The reason that you don't want to put a clip in at the very base of the neck is because you want to be able to brush it up. And you can make sure that yours is neater than mine, but since we're doing more than one look, I kind of just want to get through the looks, okay? And if you feel that your clippers are showing, just don't brush it down as tight, but try to blend them. I don't put too many for a ponytail because I like more of a natural looking ponytail. Just going to take a rubber band. Okay. And if you want, you can pull pieces out and stuff like that. So from the ponytail, you can simply wrap the hair around itself and secure that with a bobby pin that's perfect for my gym days when I need my hair up and out of the way. From that, you can also do a braided ponytail. Um, it's just kind of like a different look, perfect for the summer or the spring, just something cute for those special occasions. And you can kind of fluff out your ponytail for more of a full look. For an even more sleek look, if you don't want to wear the side part, you can just definitely brush all of your hair back and just secure it in an elegant, sleek ponytail. And definitely don't forget to lay and slay your edges because your hairstyle is not complete, girl, unless your edges are on fleek. Like, look at that ponytail. Look at it. Just look at it and love it. <laughs> so to achieve more of a higher ponytail look, you actually will have to take your clip-ins and kind of clip them in in the opposite direction because if you're going to brush that hair in the back going up, you want your clip-ins going up as well. So I take two of the back clip-ins and then I just position those in an upper fashion and then from that point you can position your ponytail as high up as you would like. And obviously the higher you go up with your ponytail you definitely want to make sure that you smooth out the back towards your neck as well. And for those days when you still want your hair to look more put together but you don't want to do too much, definitely go towards your sweatpants hair tie chilling with no makeup on. Top knot quick side braid you just reposition all of the clip-ins back down in the regular fashion and I did apply a few more of them just for more of a full look I'm going to just quickly find my part that I prefer and I'm going to brush all of my hair down to one side and just begin to braid my hair in a loose braid and the camera did cut off so you won't really see the end product but you will pretty much get a gist for the side braid hairstyle this next hairstyle is definitely another one of my favorite ones and what I'm pretty much going to do is just braid both sides of my hair and I'm just going to simply put it into a low ponytail. I love the looks where I kind of include braids and ponytails because with these clip-ins and me having this fresh relaxed world, it's just like what clip-ins okay <laughs> so I braid loosely the left and the right side when I braid my hair I don't really worry about it being too neat because I feel like that definitely plays a part in the look I secure it with a quick ponytail and voila for even more of a effortless look I go in and I kind of just pull at each one of the braids just to kind of make the look uh, look a little more put together and also to kind of fluff up the braid and to go a little step further, because we always go a little step further, you can apply a bun maker and just simply um, wrap the hair around the bun maker, secure that either with the bobby pins or a rubber band, and voila, two looks in one day. Like, don't play with the bun looks. <laughs> 
I couldn't come up with nothing. And just so we're clear, at this point, I have in four of the two clip clip-ins and one of the three clip clip-ins for the looks that you've seen so far. I like using the clip-ins for a lot of these looks because with my shoulder length hair, it just gives me more of a full look. So for the next one, we're going to go to instantly longer hair. And here I'm applying all seven of the clip-ins. If you all want to see more of an installation video, definitely let me know since I kind of sped through it in this video. But you just kind of quickly apply them, style your hair however you like. You can curl the clip-ins, you can bend the ends, all of that good stuff. And it's just like, oh girl, your hair, it just grew overnight. Like what are you using? <laughs> So from that point, you can just kind of, I remove two of the front clip-ins and I'm just going to apply two of the two clip clip-ins. I hope this is making sense. Two clip, four clip, what destiny? I'm applying two of the two clip clip-ins towards the front portion that I took out when my hair was kind of all down. And that helps to create that front part for the ponytail. And then I lay and slay my edges, girl, because your hairstyle is not complete. I'm telling you, it's not. Like, you can see. Like, just look at the before and after before I finish brushing the edges. It's like, mm, it look cute, but it don't look that cute. You know, like, it could be, like, further, like, laid and slayed. Okay, let me, what am I talking about? So, from that, if you don't want to wear the hair down, you can definitely wrap it up and just do the half up, half down with the top knot. I love the top. Now, I'm just going to quickly curl the hair just to show you all that it can curl also if you would like. But I'm not going to really go in too in-depth. With this, I'm going to use my Numi One Curl, and the reason I'm not going to go too in depth is because I do have a half up, half down tutorial already on my channel. I'm showing you the entire process to get the look that I'm about to do now. So just for a little extra oomph, if you want to curl the hair, I just quickly use my wand curler to do that. If you don't want to use heat, you can definitely use flexi rods for this look. Longer lasting curls, I simply wand curl the hair, I leave it to sit, and then I don't style my hair until I'm done curling my entire head. So those are pretty much the looks. There are definitely so many more hairstyles that you can do with clip-ins. So if you all would like to see maybe like a part two, a different kinds, like different ponytails or different braid looks or anything like that, then definitely let me know. So as far as the giveaway goes, one person will be receiving the exact same pair of the clip-ins that I did just use in this video. It's the 14 inch light yakky clip-ins in the color 1B. And the giveaway is only going to be within the United States. To enter the giveaway, I do have a few rules for you all. I wrote them down so that I wouldn't forget anything and my cute little, a little birdie told me notebook. In order to enter the giveaway, the free rules, one, obviously you have to be a subscriber to my channel. So for those of you that are already subscribed, you want to step closer already. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, you can still enter. Just make sure that you click that subscribe button so that you can be entered into the giveaway. The next rule, you must follow me on Instagram as well as Twitter. Name is right here. It's the same as my YouTube name, Olive Destiny. Also, to enter the giveaway, you must follow Better Length on Instagram as well. I will put their name here on the screen as well as in the information bar down below just in case you miss it. After you follow Better Length on Instagram, once they post a picture, it'll be a picture of myself. When they post that picture, definitely make sure that you comment that way Better Length as well as myself. We will be able to verify that it is you and that you've been entered into the giveaway. And last but not least, amongst all of those things, you definitely have to comment down below and let me know on this video me one thing or however many I guess something that only a real subscriber would know from watching my videos here on YouTube and it doesn't really have to be a hair video it can be uh, from a vlog or from when I've been live on Instagram or something from Facebook when I'm on there or whatever just something that you've noticed about me or something that you as a subscriber would know about me because you are a loyal subscriber to my channel yeah those are the giveaway rules anything else that i might have missed i would definitely leave it in the information bar down below so definitely check that out also if you do not win the giveaway i do have a coupon code with better length it'll be here on the screen as well it's bl destiny pretty much for like better length bl destiny so you can use that coupon code at checkout if you want to purchase your own clip-ins it does not have to be the same clip-ins that i use you can use it on all of their clip-ins get you some clip-ins so we can be hair twins okay that rhymes i wasn't even trying to do that also let me know which hairstyle is your favorite that's not a part of the giveaway just let me know I'm just curious to know. Any hairstyles that I do have on my channel featuring the Better Length Clipping, I will leave them in the cards as well as in the information bar down below. You can do like two braids with this, with these clip-ins. I didn't include that here since I already have a super detailed tutorial on that. 
you can also do kind of like this twisty updo which is one of my favorites as well i do that when i just don't have time to really wash my hair i have the curly clip-ins also that i use to do um like buns and different texture styles when i have a lot of new growth so better lit definitely does have clip-ins that will match your hair even if you're not relaxed they have texture clip-ins uh they have the light yakky curly and the what's the other name i can never remember the other name of the clip-ins but i do have those as well so i just put it here on the screen so yeah thank you all so 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 much for watching this video questions and comments be sure to leave all of that down below i will announce the winner on april the 22nd I don't know if I'm going to do it here on my channel or on Instagram. Following me is a part of the rules. If you're following me, then you will see the, win the winner on my Instagram page or Twitter or here. Probably all three. So, yeah. I thank you all so, so, so much for watching this video. Talk to you all later. Bye. Mm -hmm.